Well, you better believe it. And you better get used to it. You can't deny this idea when you're born into it. Any, any paradigm, <laughs> any paradigm, show me one where it, it, it's not reality. There's hierarchy in any group you're in, even your family, even your community, at school, with your cliques, in politics, in government. Any organization of people has a hierarchy. Somebody reports to someone, doesn't matter how decentralized. Doesn't matter. Even incorporating associates. Yeah, we all report to each other. But that's only because the circle's small. And the trust is there. That should be another episode just right off of the bat. In God we trust. In good we trust. It's... It's trust that props up the dollar. You don't fucking believe me? What's it backed by? Precious metals? <laughs> nah, it's trust. So when somebody splits your trust up fractionally and spreads it thin, who do you think should be held liable? I'm telling you, it's another podcast. This is Alex. It's another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Powered by Incorporating Associates. Visit us online, associates, incorporatingassociates.org. On Instagram, catch us. That's incorporating.associates underscore IA. You want to shoot us a dollar? Help the cause out. Help buy ammunition. That frangible shit is not cheap. (laughs) <laughs> do that paypal.me slash corporate cowboys venmo alex underscore coco and cash app that's dollar sign corporate cowboys all funds go to the legal fees behind this and becoming a non-profit organization in the near future We're just laying the groundwork for it. And, of course, personal expenses. Will this become my way of living? I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. Right now, I'm in this time capsule for a period of however long it takes me to go through the process of becoming a licensed killer. And in corporate, that's what you want to become. You either want to be licensed or you just want to be a killer. But you want to be capable of both. Obviously, the license gives you a little bit more authority. Gives you some semblance of power to wield righteously. And, well, otherwise, you can just be a killer. Ruthless. Operating with or without an M.O. (laughs) But in the context of corporate, more than likely it's going to be self-interest for some, group interest for others, and still for corporate cowboys, it's going to be for good, for something better. To live and die in corporate, there's a song by Tupac that says, to live and die in L.A., And sometimes when I listen to music, it doesn't matter what genre. doesn't matter. Any genre. Rap, rock, metal, reggae. Those nouns and subjects, I always... In my mind, my mind does this automatically now. And I've been in this state of mind going on 10, 15 years. Damn. 15 years. I replace it all with corporate. (laughs) All of it. It's borderline an obsession. Borderline. Why? Because it's, it's the scheme that we're born into. It's the structure we're born into. In the United States, 
It's what it is. It's a giant corporation on the international stage. In your in my particular state, it's still a, there's still a hierarchy there. You can get promoted from a regular citizen to some kind of public official and then from some public official to an executive official and then an executive official to fucking whatever next level comes. There's ranks and titles for every person, even the lay person, the one who's on welfare, the one who's from job to job, working check to check, the ones who don't work and just receive cheese Everybody's got a rank, everybody's got a title, everybody already has a social credit score. They already have it. If they go on and implement an official social credit score, come on, that shit's going to be corrupt from day one. Because it doesn't matter how decentralized they make it, the makers of it the quantifiers of it, the calculators of it, the aggregators of it, they all got to report to somebody. And those motherfuckers have personal interests. I don't trust anyone I can't put a bullet into. If I've never met them, I don't fucking trust them. It's kind of like you have to see it to believe it. You have to have experienced it to know it. But you think I'm going to trust some motherfucker putting a a grade on me from A plus to F minus? Nah, don't believe that for a second. Don't believe that for a second. And even if the goalposts do move beyond me and I'm assigned a credit score, what you don't think I'm going to play the game? Of course, I'm going to play the game. I'm a player after all. I respect any game. Until I find where the rules come from. When you live and die in corporate, your name goes up on a wall or it goes in white paper. (laughs) It's easy. It's that easy. And I don't put it past them, whoever the administrators become. However, they choose to paint it and propagandize it. Corporate is the future. And living in it, being born in it, we are already part of the future. We are living through it. Don't let somebody else tell you what the fuck corporate is about. You already know what corporate is about. It's just been attempted to be redefined into something bad. Capitalism is is bad, they say. That's a fucking lie. Without capitalism, you wouldn't have. That's it. Without capitalism, you wouldn't have. (laughs) Capitalism innately incentivizes the capturing of value, the appreciation of value, capitalizing on value. Essentially, what's good? Capitalizing on what is good. Something that's beneficial, something that's productive, something that is reproductive, that's creative, That's innovative. All positive attributes. Point to me. Somebody who capitalizes on on what's bad. And tell me how long that lasts. Without some direct fucked up infusion of money. Some injection of life support. Some subsidizing. Point to me one thing. That's blatantly wicked and yet is still capitalized on. Can't do it. Can't do it. And even if you did point to something, 
You know your boy can play the devil's advocate? I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of, um... The fucked up rationale that folks put themselves through. The paces in which they put their mind through to rationalize just how fucked up their situation is or some fucked up there's some fucked up shit that they're doing that they're that they're inflicting on other people and how they rationalize it it's funny i laugh i laugh i mean i'm obviously it's not it's not good yeah i've i've come across folks that i've had to put down and um when I say put down, I mean like end, like their careers. <laughs> don't take it too seriously or too literally. You don't know me like that. But what you think? Anybody I bury is coming back? Come on. Fucking come on. But the fucked up rationale that folks genuinely believe flies for some kind of credit like i got a family to keep like i got mouths to feed so i'm gonna fuck somebody over i'm gonna fuck over this other innocent party because i got mouths to feed you should have thought about your innocent mouths at home before you fuck somebody else over why because retribution is a bitch is a bitch in corporate. You get found out. You get yanked. And who ends up starving? Your family. Those mouths. They'll eat you up. Especially if you've been blackballed and buried and or buried. <laughs> Who's going to be providing for them? You're going to fail your family twice? <laughs> Come on. Come on, son. Come on, daughter. Come on, bro. Sis. Come on. To live and die in corporate, this shit ain't easy. It's not easy. Nothing is handed out for free. There is no such thing as a free lunch. There's such thing as a brown bag lunch. And you make that shit yourself. What? You don't see me eating out every day. It's just not feasible. It's not. Make myself a smacking little sandwich at home. Take some chips and a little chip bag. That's my lunch. I still keep it professional. It may not look enticing. It may not look luxurious or expensive. Some guy in a suit eating a sandwich with chips. I stopped drinking juice and soda. Just drinking water. Straightforward. All I need is fuel to keep going. All I need is something to throw down the hatch and wash down. That's it. I just need fuel. I'm already in that mind state. In that, in that mindset of do or die. I don't need extra sugar to keep moving with. When you realize that extra sugar is just extra and it costs more and that all matters, you realize that you can live on a lot less. So am I minimalist? Arguably, it's debatable. But when it comes time to work, when it comes to corporate, when it comes to capitalizing on what's good, baby, I'm all in. Because I'm trying to double up, always. I'm always trying to double up. The only way you double up is by going all in. When you live and die in corporate, you have nothing better to do than going all in on what's good. And holding it down. Holding it down. 
it's difficult for some who've never, not who've never, but who've compromised their values, their morals, their ethics. And I've met plenty folks with moral compasses that will that will give you the fucking chills. But that's not to say that that they're incorrigible. They're absolutely fixable. You just gotta know what game they're playing. And everybody's a player. You gotta show them what rules you can break, what rules you can bend, and what rules you must abide by. In corporate, after all. We're all stand-up guys with criminal minds.